my name is Ed Hood. I'm a dentist in Dental Springs, Louisiana. I married my high school sweetheart, Gwen. We've been married almost 40 years. We have three kids. My oldest, Andrew, is a, a dentist in practice with me. Allison is a hygienist. Travis, my middle son's in a band for the last 12 years that's really popular. When I started school, I actually pre-registered in chemical engineering because I had no idea what I wanted to do. And before I got home, I had already changed my mind. I don't know that I felt called to do that, but it just was something that seemed to resonate with me. There's no dentist in my family. My dad worked at a plant his whole life, hated it. He retired when he was 55 years old and always really wanted to do something that I felt like I could make a decent living with, but something more importantly that I really liked. The first time I met David, it was actually at a team training. I met him afterwards and we got to talking and just really connected. I knew nothing about real estate. I had no idea really about money. Nobody's ever taught me. Like I said, my dad worked at a plant. We had very little. We had what we needed. I didn't know I was poor, but we were poor. That's kind of the way I grew up. And so really to have any concept of how to allow money to work for you and what you were going to need in retirement, all I knew every day was just to wake up and work hard, treat people right, and that everything else would take care of itself. And that's kind of naive to some degree, but you know, that was kind of my mentality. And so really the thing that Freedom Founders has done more than anything, it helped organize my thoughts. It helped give me clarity where I am financially, where I want to try to get to financially. It gives you a clear path. And man, with clarity, you can make a lot of really good decisions if you have clarity about where you're trying to go. And so for me, that freedom of choice on a day-to-day -day basis, and it doesn't mean that you're gonna choose any different than you're choosing now, but to know that you have that freedom of choice is huge. I was the guy that wasn't at my kids' baseball game because I was busy working. Freedom really is, if I don't wanna to go to work, I don't go to work. I still go to the office four days a week. I still am engaged in the, the staff that I have there, travel to the other offices some. Andrew's kind of become the clinical director, and so he works with them on clinical efficiencies. Being Ed Hood is not a bad gig. I love to hunt in three days. I'm like, I'm ready to go back and be a dentist. Dentistry is just my identity, and it's that's who I am. It's kind of what drives me, and so, you know, I enjoy going to the office every day. You do cosmetic dentistry on somebody, it changes their perception and their feelings about themselves, the fact that they smile more, and they're more engaged in the people around them. Anything that you can do that, that changes the way someone feels about themselves, that's pretty powerful. It gives me a purpose. It makes me feel like I'm impacting other people's lives, and it's my ministry. We do a free dental day, and now in a position really where you can kind of do that whenever you want. If you want to treat somebody and say, you know what, I just want to bless you, and I'm going to take care of whatever your dental needs are. You have to give back. I want my kids to know what it means to be generous, that you were afforded a great privilege. You've been given resources. That's one of the legacies I would want to leave my kids. I want my kids to be happy to have good careers and opportunities because of things that I've done in my career. My son's a dentist and my daughter's a hygienist. I hope that my grandkids one day might want to be a dentist and would actually work at Hood Dental Care. To have other kids come in and for Hood Dental Care to remain after I'm gone, that would be really pretty cool. The people that you meet, the relationships that you develop through Freedom Founders, all with common goals and we're all in a different point of life, but everybody's still trying to really achieve that same thing. And what more could anybody ask for except the freedom to choose?